pretty gloomy day, but I got even more updates. It's been crazy the last couple weeks. I'm going into North Ocean City up by the Fenwick line and it is totally unrecognizable uh, from last year, even two years ago. It is totally changed. So I'm gonna run up there and, and uh, start the updates up there. There's actually one in Fenwick. I'm gonna start up there first. I don't normally do those, but uh, there is one going in up there. I figured I'd show you. I'm passing roses now. My last update video, I started there and kind of worked down towards the inlet. But this one's going to be all the way up. It's just crazy how much has changed up there. If you're new to my channel, my name's Jay. I live uh, just outside Ocean City, Maryland. So I do a lot of videos in Ocean City fishing and crabbing, clamming, outdoor stuff, update videos, pizza reviews, crab cake reviews. I do tons of stuff. So... I will see you up on the Fenwick line. We'll start off from up there. All right, first one up. This here, we're in Fenwick Island, uh, right by Southern Exposure. There's a body double. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is around. Bank of Ocean City, Ollie's Treasure Chest, right by Seaside Country Store is literally right around the corner. But this used to be, a, I believe it was like a Dairy Queen but it was really falling apart. Like the building was completely crumbled, collapsed, uh, and it was vacant for a long time. And now they just put this up and it's gonna be a Surf Bagel. And Surf Bagel's got a couple places already. There's one in, I think, Lewis and Rehoboth. And from what we heard, the reviews are actually pretty good. So I'm kind of excited for this one. We don't have any really like bagel places near us. So it should be pretty, pretty interesting to see how it does and it's nice to see something finally there because that Dairy Queen was like yeah it was an eyesore for a while so we're gonna head just south and go right across the Maryland line and start the updates for Ocean City over there all right here we go here's everything going on here this is crazy so this is the Sanibel Seas the condos that they had just put up we're going to go around the back side because it's a lot easier to show you. But this this was the one. They weren't doing anything for a while. And then all of a sudden they really started working on it. So they're pretty much like finishing up all that stuff now. The one on the other side that they're building right now, that's where the old Sun and Surf was. Oh, they're putting up more back here too. Wow. It all used to be like fields and stuff like that a parking lot and now it's all being developed that's a lot of townhouses yeah, it is. this one i know is a whole community i think there's like 85 of them going in there and like i said this is the old sun and surf they i believe what they had was they had approval for more but they didn't uh they didn't they didn't want to put all of them in because they were looking to put, I guess, like a common area and a swimming pool. But that's crazy. Yeah, that's all the old sun and surf. And then the next one coming up, they just put these little warehouses in. And then next to it, this was the old Phillips parking lot. And these have, like, really flown putting them up uh, the fastest I've seen any condos here but just a couple weeks ago there was nothing here like they they had like the fittings for it and all that uh or the footings like yeah the footings and or like all like the pipes and stuff like pre-put in there and then all of a sudden it just showed up like this so they really have been working fast but yeah like I said this was all the old Phillips parking lot it's insane tons and tons of townhouses here's all the the condos and townhouses again just how many there are it's crazy Before, really, the only thing that used to be over here was the, the 
the bus station. Starting from the 600s, okay. That's very expensive. I don't know how I feel about the two tone. Yeah, or the fact that like your back door is literally on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. It's very crammed in there. Alright, next one up. We have Victoria's that was up here. Someone just told me that they just opened as a uh, touch of Mediterranean. So I came down to check it out and they are open. They do have another spot too. I think it's uh, 28th Street by Buxies. It's like a really small place. But they're definitely open. They don't really, looks like they didn't really do much work. Like the old pink stuff is still there from Victoria's. Yeah, it was definitely kind of odd how, how quickly they went up. So we're going to keep going down. I got a couple more. This Sensations is closed. I don't know what's going on with that one. I don't even know what's really going on with the Sensations. There's been quite a few that have closed. But they're definitely closed up tight. It says it's for lease right there on the sign. And anyone, if, if you're into uh, country music and you know Jimmy Charles, he's, I think he was from here. That's his truck right there. He's down here for something. Probably partying at, partying at alley-oops. But yeah, that's his truck, the, the big Maryland one. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go around the corner. You should go fangirl. <laughs> yeah, go, go walk in. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Try to record him. He was just down here. Ashley did a marathon. When was the marathon? October. Was it? Yeah. And he was down there for that. He comes down here quite a bit. All right. There's one I want to check out in here. And it was, it used to be a gas station. And then the gas station went out. And. Oh, all that rubble? Yeah. Someone told me it was going to be a mini golf place. He said it's on the sign up front, so we're going to go check it out. That'd be awesome if it's mini golf. Yeah. It's kind of like a great area for it. You got like Higgins right there. I don't remember it being a gas station, though. I couldn't have told you what was there. Yeah, because I remember uh, I have like a, I have a landscaping company, and um, I'm in this area all the time working, like mowing, mowing lawns, but this used to be a Sunoco and the pumps were like lined up perfect where I could park my trailer and fill up my mower and the truck at the same time. It's the only reason why I remember it. This was like my go-to place to like get gas. And then they, for some reason, they just shut it down. And then it was just sitting here vacant for a while for sale. I'm gonna go check it out. Duffy's Tavern is back there. We did a crab cake review back there. It was pretty good. Let's see what the sign says. This is uh, the Montego Bay Shopping Center. It's like really hard to read. Uh, permit to allow 18 whole miniature golf course in the shopping center. So it is. That's awesome. I want to know who it is, if it's going to be like a Knicks old pro or one of those or if it's going to be a new company coming in that's going to be awesome that'll be a fun one cool all right got a couple more and then that's it i was just thinking about that sensations the one that's for lease there was uh like a while back people were asking about near the 
uh, the Home Depot and the Walmart, like that when they were putting in that shopping center, people were asking what was going in there, and I was joking around, and I said uh, Sensations, <laughs> and people went berserk. So <laughs> I don't even joke around about that anymore. I didn't realize how mad people got over that, but yeah, I don't know. It just it kind of made me laugh. Uh, there's one up here coming up, Saltwater 75. They opened up what last? It was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, it used to be BJ's on the water, then it went to Atlantic Beach House, and they just kind of like finished out the year, then they demolished it, built Saltwater 75, it's on 75th Street, and they had a sign that said that they were opening um, uh, April some, I can't remember, April, it's for some reason I think April 15th or something, but it was definitely April, and now the sign says they're going to May 2nd. I don't know what's going on over there. We were thinking maybe staffing problems or something, but that's kind of odd to switch your opening date like that. So I don't know. No clue. But yeah, that was the update for that one. And then the final one uh, is right, uh, right by, uh, right past there. Coming up right here, this is Saltwater 75. Yeah, and it definitely says opening May 2nd, so they did switch it. It's very odd. It's pretty in there. Yeah, it's it's nice in there. We went, we, uh, we went when they first opened, and we were uh, definitely not a fan of it. The scenery was really good, but I think they had a lot of stuff they were trying to work out on their menu, and then I heard that they redid their menu. Oh. Yeah. So maybe we'll give it another shot. Give it a go. Yeah. Go. So this is the last update. This used to be Dough Roller, and now it's the Route 66 Diner. I found the executive chef. I found her on Facebook, and she seemed like she was extremely excited to be coming here and to working on the restaurant and all that. So if you try it out, let me know how it is. I'm curious to see what you think. Uh, and we'll try to, try to get here at some point and try it out. I have, to be honest, I haven't even looked at the menu. I haven't looked at anything on it. Um, but I think I'll, I'll have to check it out and see. They have, honestly, they haven't even got the signs up yet. So, but that's it, Route 66 Diner. So we're done. That's it. That's all the updates that I have for this one. I'm sure there's probably going to be more the way that it's been going. It's like every week uh, a bunch of new things pop up. So I hope you like it. Yeah, yeah, which is good. It's a lot of a lot of people have talked about like how sad it is that Ocean City's changing, and I mean some of it is, but some of it it is in need of updates. Like I was commenting to someone else about the restaurants that I like how a lot of these restaurants. It's a lot of competition to try to keep the quality up uh, because I know for years there was a big like quality. It seemed like there was like a quality issue with restaurants and uh, which is nice to see, uh, see the competition. And, and it's all local. Yeah. It's not like chain restaurants. Yeah. Which is, yeah, really, really good. So that's all I got. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.